this season on Survivor Yukon Ready to Rumble. On day one, 15 Yukon students were divided into three tribes, Moynihan, Jaskilka, and Faradfoy. After facing both mental and physical challenges, alliances formed within all three tribes when faced with tribal council. So the plan is for me, Heidi and Chang, to vote out Sawyer. And the second person vote out Survivor Yukon, Ready to Rumble, Sawyer. Sorry, that's three. It's enough for tonight. I was asking if this is what we're Third person vote out Survivor ready to rumble. Neil. Sorry to say, that's enough for tonight. The only tribe to avoid tribal was the Moynihan tribe, where real idols were found. What else do I see? The real idols are already around my neck. Fake idols were made. Did he finish making it? No. I'm gonna place it tonight. So, Robbie, I went to the jewelry store. Goodbye, dude. Peace! Everyone, drop your bandanas. At the tribe swap, opposing alliances collided. This is not hidden immunity idol, so. And the fourth person vote out Survivor Yukon ready to rumble. Shane. While existing alliances turned against each other. And the fifth person vote out Survivor ready to rumble. Ash. Sorry, I said, that's not what we're nice. At the merge, fresh off of their winning streak, the Moynihan members thought they had the numbers to take out Maddie in Carolina. However, Bijan orchestrated his plan by pretending to split the votes with them, leaving his alliance of Maddie, Carolina, Alex, and Heidi to take control of the game. Since then, the powerful NATO alliance voted out the remaining Moynihan members one by one until Bijan and Alex created an alliance with Matt and Barrett, taking out Maddie. After Matt continued his winning streak by winning his third immunity challenge, Heidi knew she was the next to go. Minutes before Tribal Council, Alice confirmed with Heidi that she was getting voted out, revealing that Bijan had an idol as well. As a last ditch effort to save herself, Heidi revealed this to Bijan right before the vote, leading to a chaotic Tribal Council. You really think so? I don't think we can let him get there. Alex, you're saying? In the end, Heidi's last minute move paid off as everyone turned on Alex, leaving five survivors left. Barrett. Barrett is the last remaining member of his original Moynihan tribe and has narrowly escaped multiple tribal councils. He has proved his strength in challenges, and while never being the one in charge, he has still managed to maneuver through the game without getting voted out. I've been, I've been making it through, I've been managing to stay on the winning side or stay out of the limelight when it matters. Will he be able to sneak his way to the end, or will the last of the Moynihans be taken out? Bijan. Bijan has controlled most of the game using his ruthless strategic mindset and an amazing social game. I mean, if she's watching this, I'm gonna get you. Believe me, I'll get you. He has never had his name written down and has always voted correctly. But everybody I vote out is going home. That's just yeah, if I If I write your name, I don't know. However, his tribe mates have recognized that he's a huge jury threat and labeled him as the biggest liar in the game. Can he overcome such a massive threat level and continue to dominate? Or will his fellow contestants finally turn against him? I don't know how I'm going to get there, but obviously I'm going to win, so... Heidi. Heidi has spent most of the game as a target, whether it be to an opposing alliance or her own. However, every time she's been in danger, she has successfully managed to escape by either using bigger players as a shield or causing chaos at Tribal Council. To a degree, I just wanted to mess with the game a little bit before I exited, and then I ended up Oh, crazy. She has strategically adapted anywhere she could, with the guys remaining recognizing her as a threat. Can she continue to sneak her way around elimination long enough to reach the final tribal? Carolina. Carolina has spent her entire game working with Bijan, who was voted the least deserving player to win. Despite this, she has constantly maintained her low threat level while almost always voting a majority and having a strong read on the game. Her strong social game led to major alliances with Bijan, Heidi, and Maddie. But will she be able to prove herself as worthy of the title of Soul Survivor? Matt. 
Matt started off by joining multiple alliances and being a strong ally to others, but has turned into the biggest challenge threat in the game. So I, I feel like I just have to keep winning until the end at this point. Winning every individual challenge he has competed in, Matt has been able to use his alliance with Bijan and Bear to both avoid and cause multiple blind sides. While he has never had a vote cast against him, the other players have made it well known that they want him out. Could he keep his immunity streak alive long enough to make it to the end? Tonight, these five players face off against each other, clawing their way to be crowned the second winner of Survivor Yukon. Who will it be? Find out tonight. Getting out Alex would be something that uh, could be stupid, but right now I'm mad. I'm in the emotion state of, what the fuck, why did he tell her I have an idol? Does it matter? No, but that's why in Tribal, I just showed my idol, because I'm like, I mean, everybody knows. And the truth is, everybody did know. The only person who didn't know is Bear. I met that Jean had that idol a few hours before when I met with him before Tribal. Um, he just said he didn't want me to be surprised and that he was gonna play his idol tonight. And then during tribal, everything just kind of went crazy. Everyone was talking to everyone else. Yeah, that, that live tribal was, was a bit crazy. But yeah, that, that was crazy. Heidi was trying to make things happen while tribal was going on. And I mean, hey, she, she did it. She, she got some people on her side. She got Bijan on her side during tribal, which was insane. And from there, I knew that I was next on the chopping block. So I had to conform to their side and go for Alex, which is an unfortunate outcome. But hey, it's not me. I felt awful, but I was like, okay. Um, the numbers are really getting low. As much as I want to keep up my alliances, if it's me or Alex at this point, I'll go Alex. And I agreed to it. Up until the names were getting read out, I thought I was going home. At this point, I'm a little mad. And then I pull Alex aside because I, I don't know who I'm voting because Heidi's fucking standing next to me during travel, whispering to me in one ear, saying like, let's just do it, like, do it, like, do it. And then fucking Matt's like next to me, and I'm like, Matt, like, we should do it. I told Matt about this girl, I was like, Matt, like, babe, this is what happened, like, I wanna get Alex out. And Matt's like, no, like, I don't, I don't wanna get Alex out, like, I, I wanna get Heidi out, we can get Alex out next week, this and that. I'm like, no, you don't understand, I'm running this game, not you, so I get to choose to go home. I want Alex home, and he's like, no, I want Heidi, I'm like, Bijan turned to me and said, I want Alex out. And I said, if we don't vote out Heidi now, she's gonna win this game. And I just really wanted her out. But Bijan had the idol and I didn't want to lose the trust of too many people. So I said, all right, like we'll vote out Alex. I don't want to go against the majority. Kind of like a lot of arguments. I was kind of mad with it after. And I also felt really bad with Alex getting voted out because a number of times I said, Alex, I guarantee you're safe next tribal. Like I need to win the immunity challenge. <coughs> I just have to argue that you are safer than I am. I am pretty. Yeah, I feel like I might need it. I don't think you do. The 11th person voted out and the 4th member of our jury, Alex. Sorry to say, but that's enough for tonight. But, I mean, this is Survivor. Uh, I, I feel bad, but I outlasted him, and as long as it wasn't me, I guess, um, that's what matters. I don't know who I'm voting, and 
do you want us to fucking vote? I don't know what I'm voting. Mm-hmm. So I, I just get up and I go to Alex and I was like, I need to talk to you. And obviously fucking Ethan's there with a camera in my face. Which is his job, I guess. <laughs> Did you tell Heidi that I have an idol and that you want to get me out next week? What's amazing about this game is that everybody's such a bad liar. Like Alex's face when he's lying, it like squinches up a bit and like has like a slight smirk and his eyes like just kind of like stare into you. I'm like, oh my God. He's like, no, bro, we've been talking all week. I wouldn't do that. I was like, so you didn't tell her I have an idol and you didn't tell her you wanted me out. Because this is my logic. If he told me, yeah, I told you you have an idol, but I never said about, I never said anything about getting you out. Then that's fine. I, I wouldn't be mad because who fucking cares? Yes, I have an idol. Like, but then that would mean Heidi was lying to me about him saying he wants me out. But because he denied both of them, I know he fucking told her that he wants me out. I did not realize how closely Bijan and Alex were working together. Apparently, Alex already knew about the idol Bijan had. Um, and so I agreed with this decision to send Alex home as well, just to break up their kind of lines. And I don't know, it was a really good move by Heidi, um, making Bijan question the trust of his eyes. I felt awful to a degree for being the reason behind Alex being voted out, but I mean, I'm thrilled to still be in the game and in the running. Um, I don't know what it'll mean for any allies moving forward. It's The numbers are getting really low, so alliances are a relative term at this point anyway, but um, I don't know, the whole thing was nuts. Alex was in zero trouble up until fucking like 45 minutes before tribal and he tells Heidi these things. And Heidi sold his ass out so quick. He was really trying to defend her and she sold his ass out so quick. <laughs> All it took was two minutes of her talking and I was like, you what about Alex? Down. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, oh my god. Obviously I played a big part in the move but if it weren't for her coming up to me and saying that, it wouldn't have happened. So she deserves some credit, which is bad because I don't want, now I'm definitely gonna have to get her out of the game. Looking at who's left, uh, I have me, Bear, and Bijan, and we could all just throw our votes at Heidi, I think. But I just, I think Bijan is starting to really agree with other people that I'm too much of a threat to say in this game. So for me, going into this challenge, like it's still do or die. Like I need, I did the same kind of ritual. I just kind of sit by myself and think to myself, like I have to win this. I can't lose it. All right, welcome back to your five five challenge, Matt. All right, immunity, back up for grabs. For tonight's challenge, this challenge is called Mark has dubbed it Throwback Thursday. It is a Thursday. So what this challenge is about, we're gonna, it's going to be an obstacle course. Um, there's going to be several parts of past challenges and some parts of challenges we haven't done yet. So a few different things are going on right here. So to start our first station, you will have an option. You can either eat how many saltines do you have? Saltines or sardines? Saltines. Oh, oh my god. How many saltines? This is six. Alright, so six. you can either eat six saltines or you can eat half a sardine. So, I mean, that's definitely quicker if you can get it down. I know if I have But the saltines will, six saltines will take a while. It's a lot of chewing, but it tastes a lot better. Because I heard the first part, the eating part, and I was like, like my heart was actually beating. I was like really stressed out about this because I, I really want to get Matt out, but he fucking wins every challenge. And I'm like, of course the beginning is going to start with fucking eating and Matt would eat shit off the ground to fucking win a challenge. I, I, I just didn't want to put a sardine in my mouth. And I knew, like I knew the two girls were going to take the crackers. And I knew Barry and Matt would take the sardine. And I was like, I have to do it just to have a chance at winning this game. Like I have to. All right, our second part of the challenge is uh, the nuts challenge. You gotta stack six. So stack six, move on to the next section. Third section challenge is gonna be somewhat related to the getting dicey um, challenge. So you'll have a popsicle stick. You'll have two dice on the popsicle stick. So the two dice will be stacked on top of each other. And you'll have to go from one point in the world hallway all the way down to another point. So you have to start with that on it and reach 
an endpoint. So you got to make it to that endpoint to um, finish that section of the challenge. The next section is boot order. So with boot order, you have to list everyone that's been voted out from Sawyer to Alex in order. And you're going to have to, we also have numbered index cards for how many votes each person has got throughout the game. And it's the total amount of votes throughout the game. So, uh, <laughs> so that's like, so that's votes in the errand. So like penalty votes count. Um, the penalty votes, like Matt, when he wins immunity, he doesn't have a penalty vote. So that doesn't count. So there's no penalty vote this round. Yeah, so if you mess up the boot order, that's going to be a certain station. You got to run down Laurel Hall and run back. After that, we have a three by three slide puzzle. Whoever can finish the three by three slide puzzle first will win immunity. Survivors ready, go. All right, Carolina goes for the saltines. Everyone else going for the sardine. Bijan, Bijan's oh. good. Bijan got that down really quick. Barrett's good, Matt's good. Carolina just going for the saltines. She's gonna have to get that one. Looks like Heidi's gonna go for the saltines too now. Yeah, my hands like kind of like slippery. I'm so proud of myself. I redeemed myself. What a fucking comeback story. Right, Barrett's at five right now. Barrett in the lead in this challenge so far. Fuck. Barrett at six. He lost it. Bijan at four right now. Matt at six. Matt's good. Matt can move on. Bijan the first to finish the sardine. An all-time shock here. Matt loses it. There, it's good. Fuck! Oh my god, I hate doing stupid ass. Barrett, Barrett in the lead right now. Matt loses again. Barrett's still in the lead. All right, you're good. Barrett's good. Barrett can move on. Barrett, the first one onto the boot order in the cards. Matt almost to the end. Matt, Matt's good, Matt's moving on. All right, Matt and Barrett starting here. Just a heads up, there's no um, King King the other people in this section, but you can look at each other's cards. <laughs> Carolina's good. All right, I'll stay with them, go ahead with Carolina. She finished. The nuts? Yeah. She was there the whole time? Okay. Bijan, you're good. Now it's a two horse race, Matt and Barrett. Bijan done. Carolina. Right. Go on to this next section. Gonna be a race to catch up to Barrett and Matt. Hey, right, you're good.
Are you gonna try? Yeah. yeah. One that you threw. <laughs> Five of them. Barrett, Barrett, individual name, guaranteed spot in the final four. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for the rest of you. One of you will become the fifth member of the jury this week. We'll see you guys next travel. It's been a while since I got to the um, So it just, it feels so good to be safe for a week. It feels nice, nice and cozy knowing that I'm not going home this week. Um, but yeah, from, from here on out, I just, I just gotta hope this next tribal goes in my way. Uh, and then from there, I feel like I should be safe for at least another round. Uh, the order stuff I knew was gonna screw me up. I, I just remember asking about it again, like asking to have it explained again. I was just kind of confused. At, at one point, I thought it meant how many votes they got voted out with, not how many votes total. At the end though, I had no idea like what could be wrong. So when Barrett finished, I tried to like look at his as quick as I could, couldn't find it. Couldn't figure it out, and then Barrett won before it was even before I even had a chance to really get to the puzzle at the end. So it's kind of a bummer. Well, first of all, I hope everybody noticed that I ate that fish really quickly, and I redeemed myself in the first round. I'm I'm pretty mad Barrett won because the thought of Barrett doing better than me in this game, I think might put me into a cardiac arrest. I said in the challenge he is the least deserving to be here, and then he said I was the least deserving to be here. And for him to actually beat me, and maybe he'll think that he deserves to win more than me. I don't know. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. To a degree, I think Barrett winning that challenge was the best thing that could happen for me. Um, was it meant Matt doesn't get immunity? Okay. We were relieved that Matt didn't get immunity um, because he, I believe, won the challenges for a few in a row, and he just proved that he could very well beat us out without a challenge. If Matt goes this round, moving on to the final four, it puts another target on Barrett's back, because now he has two immunity challenge wins. Yeah, this round, it's tough. I feel like I'm trying to, trying to go for either, uh, 
I don't, don't want to take up Bijan in this round. It's it, this this round's tough. This is where it gets really really muddled and really anything can happen. I was like, anybody need a ride? The girls were like, no. I was like, okay. And Matt was like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So Matt was like, so we're getting out of Heidi this week. I was like, yeah. I'm so sorry about the Alex, but like I just like couldn't like I couldn't leave him here. He's like, no. Nah, yeah, I get it. Like at least we have Heidi out this week. Um, I'm kind of glad Barrett has immunity instead of someone like Heidi. Um, I wish I had it. Um, I tell previously, I've been like, Barrett, let's vote for this person. He's in agreement. So I said, Barrett, let's get Heidi out now. He said, let's do it. Bijan said the same thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I will, I'll go for whoever, I don't know, whoever poses the biggest threat currently. And I will still feel like that the biggest threat at this at this point in time during this tribal is, is Heidi going into the end. Causing a live tribal and voting Alex out um, and keeping myself in the game, I feel like I have potentially a lot more going into a jury and maybe that'll make me a threat to other people. Maybe they won't fully realize it since so much happened during that tribal. Matt texted um, Caroline saying, hey, like, can we meet or something like that? Caroline was like, yeah. And Caroline told Matt, She's down for Heidi. Matt told me Barry's down for Heidi. So all goes back and forth. Basically, like at the end of the day, like it's been every single vote, it'll be up to me. Carolina obviously would be loyal to me. I hope so. I'd be fucking crushed if she voted me out. I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad. But she's fine. I Bijan has been pulling a lot of like weird, um, kind of shady moves, but I still don't think he would vote me out. Um, he told me that he would take me final two if it came to it, so um, I think I'm pretty safe for now. This week, we're gonna vote out Matt. This gives me the best chance to win the Final Four immunity. I need the immunity so, well, I don't really know if I need it, but it would be really nice to have because I think no matter what, I can count on Carolina to keep me in the game. It would be smarter for her to get rid of me, but like, I don't know, I think she trusts me, like, maybe because, like, I trust her, her the most, so... I mean, yeah, pretty pretty much, uh, I, I didn't have too much of a choice going in because I'm still in the, the minority in, in, in this group. Um, yeah, I, it, was, it was a tough decision to have to go for Matt, but I just feel like at this point in the game, you either have to go with the group or you get voted out. It's hard <laughs> so, uh, I think, personally, I'm ready. I think the best course of action this round would be to get Matt out. Yeah. Just because uh, just because he's gotten immunity so many times yeah. and I feel like at this point in the game the most important thing is to take out the best uh, challenge competitors. Oh and I feel like he's but definitely the biggest threat. Because like two more and guarantee final two when he gets his pick. Exactly. And that's a lot better. Yeah, at that point I feel like he's he's probably just one. Yeah. Um so yeah, I feel like Definitely, if me and you vote for Matt, I'm gonna talk to Carolina later, see yeah. if she can vote for Matt, because I feel like, why would she not? Yeah, okay. So, I think that I'm ready to flip both sides. Okay. Um, I think what's best for this week is if we try to get Matt out. Because, yeah. like, he's been great to me and all, we've been, like, friends yeah. through this whole thing, but I feel like he's definitely, at this point, a very big challenge threat. Yeah, um, I Yeah, so I he's feel like... like the biggest one. I definitely, I talked to Heidi earlier and she's on board, um, so I think that if us three stick together, we can, yeah, we can, we can keep that majority, um, and if we can do that, then we'll have a guarantee, I don't think it'll be a problem getting Bijan out next round. He hasn't been fantastic. Yeah, he <laughs> hasn't won too many immunity challenges, yeah. but you know. I agree, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. I feel like if we can get Carolina to join our side, yeah. then that would be perfect. Yeah. And it would just be us three for the final three. And then, you know, from there we can see what happens. Okay. I even talked to Carolina after the challenge a little bit and said, like, hey, I think we should get out Heidi. Like, I think you meet Bijan final three. I think we could do it. Um, and I said I'd text her. I, I texted Carolina. Uh, I got some, like, late responses. So I just, like, don't know how reliable she is. Um, I'm voting for Heidi no matter what, but I can't help but feel like there's a huge target on my back and I'm gonna try what I can and meet with people and double check, but at the end of the day, I just need to hope people pull through. Yeah, so um, some random person is getting us alcohol and uh, <laughs> we're gonna drink. I mean, 
I've thought about faking it, like just fake drinking and having them get drunk and then killing the challenge, but I don't want to be that guy. Like I feel like it's such a shady thing to do. I'm sure somebody's fucking playing on it, but I'm not gonna do it. It's me and three freshmen. Like I'm drinking with three fucking freshmen today. It's gonna be a mess. Oh my God, it's gonna be a mess. Uh, before tribal, I kind of just thought to myself, like, I have to go in, like, make a lot of drama. Like, I know um, people are probably going to be gunning for me, but I'm just going to try to point out, like, maybe that Barrett only has one less immunity win than I do, individual immunity. So he's a physical threat, too. I want to point out that Bijan had an idol and no one really knew about it. I want to point out that Heidi, after supposedly being the one to go last time, she convinced us all to vote for Alex. So I wanted to say, like, if Heidi makes it to the end, she wins because she single-handedly saved herself at the last tribal. And I think that's a huge strategic move. And if she makes it to the end, like, I do think she wins. Even if I were there, I think she might win. So I, I really uh, think she has to get out. And I'm just gonna try to like bring that up as much as I can and like my last ditch effort to get people to vote for her. All right, everyone. Welcome to you. Tribal Council. Woo! Woo! All right, we got we got a bit to go over. We got a fun night ahead of us. All right, Barrett, congrats. You are immune and on the tribe now. Congratulations. All right, so Barrett winning the last challenge, as we saw. But before we get to that, let's get to what kind of happened last tribe. Last trial was a very Vivid tribal, a lot of fun things happened, a lot of scrambling. So Heidi, I think you should explain what happened last week. Um, I didn't want to go home, and then I didn't, and I feel bad for Alex. Is he here? No, he's not. Yeah, Alex is not he's... here tonight. Yeah, yeah, why is he here? I don't know. Where's, Rob, where's Rob I, I would think now? Rob. Yeah, Robbie and Alex friend. are dedicated. I'm surprised they're not here. Yeah. So. I feel bad, but I mean, I'm still here, and I'm happy about it. That's good. Yeah. All right. Barrett, another immunity win this week. Congratulations. Thank you. So Thank you. Barrett, uh, do you think you really needed this necklace? And if not, do you think anyone else really needed this necklace this week? Do you think, the, how important is immunity? We're getting this deep in the game. We're at five, four, three people left. There's only three tribes left. So there's less options week after week. So how essential is immunity this week? I mean, everyone needs it every week. It's always great to have. But yeah, like as the weeks go on, it becomes more important every single time. So I feel like having it now is really nice personally. And also it looks nice. How do you think you needed immunity this week? Me? Yeah, just... Yeah, just I don't know. Just I mean, I feel like you always need immunity. It's Survivor, what are you going to do? How about you, Bijan? Immunity? Oh, I think this was an essential week for it. It'd be nice. Sometimes luxury. I don't expect it. What, what about you, Matt? How essential is immunity win? I wouldn't mind it right now. If Barrett wants to give it up, he could do that to this tribe. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Barrett, any, thought, <laughs> any thoughts about giving Matt immunity? Hey, who knows what I'm going to do? Life is unpredictable. No one knows it's going to happen. He's so right. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll have to see Caroline. You think you need immunity this week? Always. 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 <laughs> <laughs> The last two tribes you've had immunity, three of the last four. Um, do you think that means it was, I mean, we already talked about this, but do you think that makes it more essential for you to win immunity, or do you think there are options, places to go in this game? Uh, right now, I feel kind of unsafe because I know I've been a big target, and I have to admire Heidi for being honest the whole time and saying she wants to vote me out uh, because of a threat, but I also want to point out some things like, if I were on the jury right now, Heidi was going to go home last week and she's still here. So right now I think she's a huge threat and she has my vote so, like for winning. So I'm going to say I don't want her in the game. So I'm going to tell her I'm going to vote for her tonight. I hope I'm not alone. I don't know. I think that we're all threats right now and that's where my vote's going. Heidi, so. who, are you voting for Matt tonight? Yeah, probably. All so, right. like, we know those two votes. I'm gonna vote for Heidi. I think she's a big threat. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> How 
Heidi, what do you think of what Matt said? Do you think it's true? I mean, we're best friends, so I don't know. Are you best friends, Matt? Tell yeah. me about this friendship. Voted me as the biggest liar. Yeah. Did I? I mean, it's true. I believe there's oh, been a personal yeah, you lied grudge. to me about Shana. That was like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah. A lie is a lie. Nobody should be lying in this game. That's like not right. Oh, true. Okay. Heidi, how often do you think of Shane tragically <laughs> played that I mean, that I'm middle? always sad about it. I, I miss mean, Shane. I think about Neil all the time. Yeah, <laughs> tell, tell me more about oh, Neil, Matt. I really wish Neil were in here. Like, if there was like a revive and survivor, like, can you bring Neil back? So you're yeah. saying you would vote Carolina out if you could. Uh, you'd keep it Neil, then you would I get rid of Ash first. Oh, you're lying. No, you would not. No, you would not. No, you would not. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. You would have voted Ash. I would. Am I gonna get arrested? <laughs> no. Okay, that's good. <laughs> no, Heidi. I don't Hopefully know what you're not. getting arrested no. for. We're I can't wait to be standing outside, Cal, doing nothing. We are doing literally one of the nerdiest clubs on campus. So that's where we're at. <clears throat> All right. I can't I'm stop like, myself. I'm, I'm losing talking. my notes. I don't know here. what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Carolina, from your point of view, who's on the chopping block tonight? Is it the two people we that are voting for each other, Heidi and Matt? Yes. So, where where does that put you? Like, the way your your game is going up to now, what kind of side do you see yourself on? Is it very defined, or do you think you had options this week? I think I had options this week. What kind, what kind of option? What, what, do you, what do you think? You don't, you don't have to say who you're voting for, Carolina, but like, where is where is your game going? What, what are you, who are you trying, what are the options? Who are you trying to get to the end with? What, what, is, your, what is your ideal way to win? <laughs> okay, you don't have to answer. Um, I think my options are just I think if Heidi makes it to the end, she wins. Ooh. Heidi, what do you think? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think she can. Anything think. can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. All right, Bijan. I don't know. Yep. We saw you play a hidden media last week. That was a way. You used it on yourself. It canceled no loss. Yeah. So, where does that place you? Do you think you're you have a little less safety now that you don't have the idol this week? Or? Um, not necessarily. I mean, I I basically everybody I think except Barrett like knew about the idol, so you probably knew too. I think I like you know, anyways. You didn't know either, but like a lot of, a lot of people knew, so I feel like it doesn't really put a target on my back. You, but at least I did it before the votes are bad. Like, I mean, like, way at the beginning of tribal, I was like, listen, I have any immunity, I don't know if you were voting for me tonight, I guess. But, yeah, they want to say I'm the biggest liar. That was really honest. I don't think you're Thank you. Thank you. I have a follow up for Carolina because I feel like I need a better question here. So, Carolina, do you see anyone? Blind Saturday night? Do you think the vote will be a surprise? I think so. They're hardly in the class. Heidi, what are you talking about? The rain. The rain? What? What about the rain? It is raining. It is raining. It has started raining. So I think we better get to the vote before it starts raining more. Yeah. All right. Barrett, you're first. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. Are you joining a group hug? Good <laughs> one! Heidi, I think if you make it to the end, you probably have my vote, which makes you a threat as long as I'm still writing these votes down. So I really hope everyone follows through, but I don't know what to expect. Oh my god.
It's such a weird feeling to like walk up to this thing every week and know that I'm safe every single time because I'm just that flawless of a game player. I just, I love, I love this game. I was hoping, hoping I could convince him, but as soon as I saw the second vote with my name, I was just, I knew it was over. I wish I uh, made some alliances sooner. I wish maybe I got like Bijan out sooner. Heidi, she's kind of had a grudge against me. I think she's played a great game, so she may have my vote if she's in it. But and then Bijan also played a great game. But in terms of people who I enjoy seeing like overcome everything and like. Because Barrett's been against the wall, Carolina, everyone doubts her, so seeing them win, like, I'm pulling for them. But that's different for who I think has played the best game. Uh, I had a great time playing this game, meeting these people. I'm sad it's over, but I'm glad I could still be on the jury and kind of stay involved. And, yeah, hopefully the rest of the game is awesome. Voting man out did suck, because <clears throat> that's, like, actually like my day one alliance. Like, that's the first alliance I had in the game. That's my final two. I'm smart enough to know that he's just a, too big of a challenge threat that I can't possibly win any challenges if he's there. And I'm also at the point of the game where it's like I need to win challenges to make sure I'm safe because if I don't win, I'm the obvious target. Hey, welcome Final Four to your Final Four mini challenge. Barrett, if I could have a mini. Yeah, Barrett. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's love. Alright. Nice. Immunity, back up for grabs. Uh, for tonight's challenge, I don't know if some of you will love this one, but uh, I love tonight it. is a memory challenge. Yeah, oh, my memory no. is so, so good. So what we're gonna do? I can't, I, I can't really show you, but on the other side of this trifold board are 55 symbols. So, so what's gonna happen is this trifold board will be all the way on the other side of the world, and you're. You each will have a Ziploc bag full of all 55 symbols at your own station over here. So, what will happen is you need to run down, yeah. memorize as many symbols as you can, and then run back, put any, as many down as you want, run back, run back, because you're not going to get them all in one go, unless you're a super genius. I'm but, a super genius. I know, I am. <laughs> but, uh, so eventually, if you want to ask for a check, you'll ask for a check. I'll check if your symbols are right. Um, when I ask for a check, I'm going to have everyone freeze. So you're gonna, just going to turn around if you're not the person we're checking. You need all 55 symbols in the correct order and orientation in order to win immunity. All right. Go. Follow my shoe. 
your time. Ugh. Okay, I'll be back. Yes, so Daniel, let go
Honestly, like right when you said what the challenge is, I knew I was gonna win. I was 100% sure because like, I have like really good memory. Like that's like my strength is I'm like really good at memorizing things. I don't think I was very rowdy myself, but um, I thought it, I just think a lot of. I mean, even though some people are quite rowdy, I don't think um, it caused any problems with their game going forward. Yeah, and that 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 last challenge. Just had a little, little bit too much vodka. I think I could have done it if I just didn't have that last shot of vodka. Oh my god. <laughs> I ate too. These are really hard to <laughs> fucking look at. You're hard to look at. Challenge while it was happening, but in hindsight, um, I did not do amazing at that challenge for a number of reasons. But you know, it happens. So I was like super excited. Also, like, I mean, even if Heidi was sober, I would have won. But it was just a nice like advantage that she was like a little bit out of it. Feels. I mean, honestly, I don't mean to be that guy, but I probably didn't need it. Like. Like Carolina would have stuck with me regardless, I think. So worst case scenario, maybe would have tied if Heidi like decided that maybe it's better for me to be eliminated or I mean if Barry had won, then Heidi and Barry probably would have voted me, but I don't think Carolina would have flipped on me. She is not winning the challenge. Unless the challenge is like get in a boat and row, she's not winning. And then the challenge afterwards, um Bijan wins, which is a relief, so that we can go forward. To vote out our next target. But still, like it feels good. I've been telling everybody I'm in the final three. I already made I made a Facebook event. So I'm having a post-survivor finale party slash pregame at my apartment. So 21 people are already going. I made the event today. So What? Yeah, on Friday. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> this is even though I'm still in the final four, it's not guaranteed yet. I'm I'm this means it happened in the last challenge, but I'm preparing to win this game. So hopefully, oh, somebody just responded going. So I just made this event like four hours ago. 22 people are already going, like 29 invited. Like people are gonna bring their friends. Like it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna tell everybody in Survivor to come. It's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna be celebrating my win. So I'm huh? excited. But it's gonna be like really, really, really bad if I actually don't win. But like at this point, I have to win. I just have to. Uh, yeah, at this point, I'm, I'm trying trying to talk to people. Uh, Bijan was the last person who I wanted to win immunity, unfortunately. Um, he was going to be the plan. He was in my plans to be the next one voted out. Um, but with his win, that's not really an option. So I feel like at this point, uh, all I can do is try to talk to people to vote for either Carolina or Heidi. I'll, I'm willing to do either one. It's up to whatever they think. I'm just trying to stay in the majority. Yeah, the first person I decided to talk to was to talk to Heidi. Um, I figured, I don't know, I, I thought she would be a good good ally for at least one round to, to keep going. And I would be definitely willing, obviously, if, if you want to, to like try to stick as a duo until the final two. I feel like 
I don't know, I feel like us two and the final two would be like the most. I just think finals, it would, Okay, final yeah. two and three is so difficult just because it's whoever wins. Yeah, pretty you know, much. Whoever wins gets to pick who they go with, but mm -hmm. like I'm totally chill with the final three. And then final two, if I win, I'm out there filming with you. And if you're final three, I'm final three. He reached out to me saying he wanted to vote out Carolina. Um, and that makes me feel like, I just, I don't, necessarily believe that he wants to go for Carolina, but he hasn't worked with any of us as far as I know at this point, so maybe he's telling the truth. Yeah, definitely. I feel like we have a very good chance of winning the final three in the Unity Challenge. I feel like yeah, we're just, yeah. I don't know, no offense to Carolina, but I feel like we're better competitors in that sense. Yeah. Um, and yeah, John is the most important ally for this round, so I also talked to him, tried to get him on my side, but I don't know. It's, it's just so hard to tell what people are going to do at this point in the game. All I can hope is that talking to them to, to, to try to get out Carolina. This is, Barrett messaged me at 2.30 today. The vote is now in, like, at 2.30 the vote. Five hours before the vote. He <clears throat> messages me on GroupMe. He has my phone number, by the way, but he messages me on GroupMe. Congrats on winning the challenge. I was wondering if you're open to voting on Carolina tonight at Tribal. I would never do such a thing. I would never do that. And I, I was gonna lie and be like, yeah, this is like typical me, but I was like, let me like try to be like nice for once. And I was like, not nice, I'm always nice. Let me try to like tell the truth. So I was like, hey Barrett, thanks. Like threat wise, I think you might be a bigger threat than Carolina. Do you have any reasons why I should vote her out maybe? Like if you're gonna text me like, or group me message me saying you wanna vote somebody out, like at least give me some reasons, not just do you wanna do it. Like he goes, I appreciate your honesty. While that's probably true, I'm willing to agree that if I get to the final three and then get voted out, I will vote for you in the final two. Guaranteed you will have my vote in the end. What a shitty deal to make. A good deal would have been like, if I win the final challenge, I'll bring you to the final two. So he's basically telling me like, no matter what, I'm not bringing you to the final two. So what? And then I said, okay, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> lie. I'll think about it. Gotta weigh out the options. Also lie. And then he said to me, that sounds fair to me, but I want you to know that otherwise, I will be very much inclined to vote against you. Make your decision wisely, and good luck. He's threatening me. Is this, is this a joke? That's such a joke. I was so mad when I read that. I was like, first of all, I don't need your vote. If I'm in the end, I'm winning. I don't need your vote. I mean, I just feel like at this point, Carolina won't be doing as much as other people to try to try to you know make up a scheme to try to stay in for another round or two so i feel like she's the most vulnerable one at this point in the game it was just a, i'm a little nervous going forward because bijan and heidi told me that they told barrett that they're voting me out and it's just a little scary to hear your name pop up but i think i can trust them yeah i mean if heidi's a smart player she'll make it go two two strictly because Carolina is not going to win. If Barry wins the final three, he's going to bring Heidi. He's not going to bring me, so she would be smart to have him there. But if she does that, I'm so fucked. Oh my god, I'm so fucked if she does that. I mean, all I got to do is grab my finger. All right, guys, welcome back to your final four tribal council. Congrats, Bijan, on immunity, which you forgot to bring. Good job, Bijan, and your bandana. First question, Bijan, when are you gonna get your shit together? <laughs> it's, I live far away. I'm not like these other kids. I live like miles away from campus, like one mile away from campus, and I have my car, and I just, I don't know. I don't know. All right, Gijan, real question for you. Yeah. So you've won immunity this week. This is your first time immune from the vote since the cup challenge, which was a while ago. Yeah, and which was thrown to me. So, <laughs> yeah. so, in, so in that sense, your first immunity since the only immunity, other immunity you won, which was uh, trivia. Mm. So, oh no, no, that's, didn't win you that didn't win one. trivia. Puzzle, we won the puzzle. We you won the second place in the puzzle. Yeah. yeah, you just got second place in the puzzle. Yeah. All right. So, how wow. essential is so. immunity for you this round? At Final Four, we're getting down the numbers. There's only one vote left after this, so you're automatically in the last tribal council, voting tribal council. What do you think at this point of the game? Yeah, um, I'd say it's like pretty important. Um, I feel good either way, but it feels better to have it than to not. <laughs> well, better to have it in theory than not to, I guess. All right, Carolina, there are only 
three of you that can be voted for tonight, Barrett, you, and Heidi. So who is in the hot seat? Is it two people specifically? Is it unknown to you? Who's in the hot seat? I think it's two people specifically, uh, Barrett and I. Barrett and you, you think again, yeah. both tonight? All right. So Barrett, you won immunity last week. You're the last remaining Red Tribe member in this game. Last remaining Moynihan. You won immunity last week. Are you an endgame threat in this game? Do you think you're a threat to everyone else to win the game? Or do you think you can or cannot beat any of the four? What are you thinking right now? Uh, I feel like definitely, I feel like I'm a threat at this point in the game. I'm anticipating getting at least one vote right now. Um, I just feel like from here on out, immunity's just completely, it, it's necessary to move on if you're in my position. That is more than zero votes, man. So, you need four though. You think you can get four at the end? Alright. Heidi, so, the person who got voted out the last two tribals, Alex and Matt, they both voted for you. So do you think that's telling? Do you think you're in the hot seat tonight? I mean, they said Caroline and Barrett. Why isn't your name coming up, you think? I mean, I don't know. I didn't necessarily pose a, challenge, um, a threat in the last challenge, and I don't think I have been, generally speaking. Um, but, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like not hearing your name is more scary than hearing you. Alright. Bijan, there are no idols that can be played in the game right now. Idols are done. We're at Final Four. So we're down to immunity, strategy, social game. That's what's keeping you in the game right now. That's what's keeping everyone in the game from not getting voted out this week. So you being immune, you don't have anything to worry about. So everyone else, what, what do you think is the main factor in their minds for this deep in the game? Do you think it's strategy to get to the end? Do you think it's essential to get out the threat that's going to beat you at the end? What's more important? Um, I guess, I don't know about everybody else's mind, but my... I'm going like final three, like, you know, who who do I want in the final three of me? Like, who do I think, like, uh, obviously I'm not great in challenges, but I might be better than like some of the other people here. Like, who am I maybe better than? And who, like, maybe if they win, they can... <laughs> no, no, you guys have done better than me, like most challenges, I just won, won finally. But like, like, who would take me to the end, like if they won, you know, just in case I don't win. So who do you think would take you to the end, Bijan? Who do I think? Oh. Um, I don't know. You seem to know. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that I know. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know. Um, people really haven't made like deals like that with me this week, which is something I kind of expected that would happen, but didn't. Because, I mean, I'm in a pretty good spot. You could have my vote. You know, if you just promised me that like if you did win the final three thing, like, you know, maybe you would take me. Like, I don't know. You would think people do that. Carolina, kind of in that sense, are, do you think there are deals being made for Final Two right now, or have any been made with you? Do you think people are trying to link up with who they want to go to the end with, now that we're at four people? Um, I've heard it come up. Uh, I don't think any plans have been solidified, but I'd like to figure that out, if I make it this round. Barrett, as more and more players in the game end up on the jury, so we got five jury members tonight, we're going to have a six after tonight's vote. Um, how do you make sure that the people you're voting out will vote for you in the end? I mean, obviously that's the trick of Survivor, but what, what is your kind of goal into making sure you have those votes? Well, ideally, I feel like you want to do as much as you can to stay on everyone's good side, but in this game, that's completely impossible to do. You're going to screw over. You're going to screw over someone in the long run. So I just feel like at this point, all you can do is be respectful, play the game smart, and just as long as you stay true to the game and make sure that Trying to intentionally attack anyone that's like Alright, Heidi. Last season we saw a crazy final four vote. We saw a lot of things happen. We ended up with a 2 1 1 vote. So, what do you think we'll see any shenanigans, tiebreakers, crazy votes tonight? Or do you think this is pretty straightforward? Um, I mean, as always, I have no idea. It could go anywhere. I think I know what's happening. I, I don't know for sure, though. Do you guys all think you know what's happening tonight? Heidi doesn't seem to know. Bijan, do you think you know what's going to happen tonight? Yeah, I think I know what's happening. Mm -hmm. Carolina, what do you think? Um, you should be sure of how I the vote's going to go? I hope I know what's happening. Barrett, <laughs> what are you thinking? I have a big idea of what might be going Alright, I guess we'll just have to see. Alright, in a sec, it'll be time to vote. <laughs> I think we're good. Heidi, you're first. Uh, 
Um, even though you blackmailed me and said you wouldn't vote for me in the end, I don't need your vote, so... Alright, once the vote is read, decision is final. First to vote out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. Apologies, the votes. First vote, Carolina. Vote Carolina. <laughs> Second vote, Barrett. Third vote, Barrett. Two votes Barrett, one vote Carolina, one vote left. Fourth vote. The 13th person voted out and six members of our jury, Barrett. I'm sorry to say that's enough for tonight. Please bring me your bandana. Alright. Sorry Barrett, but the tribe has spoken. Get inside. <laughs> Alright, with the Moynihan tribe fully exterminated, we're down to three. Um, we have one more challenge to go, one more person to vote out his game. It's going to be a great finish. I'm excited to see who wins. See you guys at the next challenge. What definitely happened tonight was uh, they, they saw me as the strongest competitor, I feel like. Uh, the biggest threat in a, in a challenge. So I feel like it just sort of makes sense that they vote me out now. If I didn't drink so much fucking Tito's last time, I, I could have won, and I would have still been in it right now. But it happens. <laughs> um, so if I had to root for one person uh, from here on out, I would probably root for Heidi, just because I feel like at this point we've been working together for a little bit. I don't know. I feel like she's been the biggest like competitor. I feel like she deserves it the most, but. In the beginning, honestly, it was, was kind of hard to care. Just because, like, if I get voted out, then, like, it's fine. But as as we got to like the final like seven or eight, I realized that like there's a chance of winning money. Um, and once that happened, uh, definitely the intensity ramped up. Um, and from there, it was, it was a good time. I, I had fun. The entire time I was on the Pemba drive, I'm like, okay, any week now, like, it's coming, it's coming. And then the merge happened, and there was a million other times I thought it was going to be me. Um, and I'm still here, and it's crazy, because I didn't think I would be. But um, I'm really content with the final three we have right now, just because I like Carolina and Bijan, just in general. Um, I would genuinely be happy with any of us winning, obviously. Me a little bit more than them, but not by much. I'm honestly like really stoked I've made it this far and um, I just, I'm really glad about the choices I've made. Um, I just hope I can make it even further. All right, so welcome to final three. Um, what we're doing tonight is pretty straightforward. We have a little Fallen Comrades thing we're doing. So we're gonna go past all your, all the people you three voted out. I think you three all voted out at least, yeah, at least one of you voted out all these people. So um, everyone will have at least something to say about them because you've all been on a try with them. So kind of just take turns. Not all three of you have to say something for each person, but like make sure everyone gets to say it a little throughout the course of it. But yeah, just have fun with it. All right, so when you go up the staircase, I know, there's so many people to start. <laughs> we got our first one here. Sawyer, you would have played a great game if I didn't vote you out the first round, I'm sure, you know. I feel bad about it still. I wish we got a chance to work together. Unfortunately, some people had other plans, but it would have been nice to work with you. Smart guy. All right, gripping stuff, guys. All right. <laughs> All right, our boy, Neil. Uh, Neil is a really nice guy. Um, I feel really <laughs> sad about the vote. 
Um, I think you could have made it far in the game. A lot of people like him. Um, and I'm just sorry to see him go. And we have Shane. Uh, okay. Well, Shane, it was great working with you. You're a Yoji. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry Robbie voted you out and I couldn't get more to stop it. Alright, we got, we got Adj. I still feel bad about this one. She would have played a really good game, honestly. Like if she had a chance to play the game, she definitely should. She's super smart, super strategic, good in challenges, and an all-round player. Adj was an amazing player, and she was very competitive at the game. And I think she would have gone very far. Um, and I'm sorry, but it's the reason why I had to vote her out. Mm -hmm. Our boy Kiwan. He was a nice guy, but the whole fake idol thing was definitely crazy. He had me fooled a little bit, but almost worked. Almost worked, but unfortunately, had to go. One of my regrets in the game was not being able to actually explore the Kira Hope and Eyes Alliance, so it's unfortunate that she had to go as soon as we were in the She was like, kind of like Ad. She was like, kind of robbed. Really smart girl. Only time for the tribal. She got voted out. But there, she definitely had like a strategic game, solid alliance, but couldn't plan for something like this. Alright, next up we got Hope here. Yeah, um, Hope was the other half of the alliance that I really wish I had a chance to actually explore. But um, I guess the victim of circumstance with both Robbie and Matt winning the meeting. Hope is so sweet. I'm just so bad. So. Yeah, she was really nice. Damn, I thought we were saying more. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we got we got Robbie. First impression, I think, is the most important. Uh, you're very aggressive, and off the bat, I know that just you needed to go. Yeah, Robbie, you played one hell of a game. Um, even though we're on opposite sides of almost every vote, we're on opposite sides of every vote. <laughs> I really respect you. Sorry I lied to you a lot. You're actually a really nice guy. Um, I can see why everyone kind of wanted to work with you. You're easy to talk to, like, really strategic. Kind of makes the game easier to work with you. But to the point where it kind of just hurt everybody else. Um, Maddie was a very strong ally, but also a really strong fighter. And I understand and respect why people voted her out. Maddie was one of my original alliance members, and I was thrilled when we got to the merge together. Yeah, I wish I wish I worked with her longer in the game, but like long term, it just didn't make sense to keep such a big challenge throughout the game. So we got we got Alex. Um, Alex and I, have, he, me and him had a really close alliance. We hung out a lot, talked game a lot, and I really thought that we would work really far into the future together. But sometimes just things work out for the best, and you know, just didn't, it didn't work out well for him. Yeah. Uh... Alex, it took us a while to really start talking, and I'm glad that we did. Um, it's really unfortunate that the vote flipped on him, um, but I'm glad we're still pals. We have Matt. Matt was like my day one alliance, day one final two. Search for the idol together all the time. This was one of the hardest votes to do but also one of the easiest because he was so good at challenges that it made no sense to keep in the game. Yeah, Matt was really great. He was just he kicked ass in challenges and you can only keep someone around like that for so long. <laughs> you gotta bear it. Like on the first day, like when we were just like introducing ourselves to everybody, I had automatically identified like Ferris, like seems like a really nice guy, somebody I want to work with. And then later on he said that I deserve to be in the least and I'll never forget that. And then he told me he's not gonna vote for me if I make it to the end, so. I mean, but well, he's still a nice guy. Like, I wish we could have worked together, but when he tried, it was too late. All right, that's about it. Um, congrats to our final three. You've made it this far. There's only one step left. It's time for our final mini challenge. Let's get to it. Right. Welcome to your final mini challenge, Bijan. If I could have immunity back. For the last time, immunity's back up for grabs. 
Fortnite's challenge, this challenge is called Balancing Act. The way this challenge works is you'll have, each have a pile of coins, you have a wiffle ball bat, the bat will be on the table, you can choose which hand to use it with, hold it with. One at a time, I'll tell you guys, please put a certain coin on the bat, I'll name the coin. So you gotta have that specific coin. So you can sort them how you want, ahead of time, do whatever you want. But you'll have to put that coin within a certain amount of time. Basically, it'll keep going, I'll keep adding coins to the spread and we'll... Other than that, any questions? Anything else I should go over here? Um, anything else? All right. You're filming, you're filming. Let's start this challenge. All right, everyone, to start, we're gonna go with a quart. All right, you ready? Do you need more? All right, I'll give you 30 seconds. I need you guys time. All right, let's get started. All right, to start, we're gonna start with a quarter. So everyone get a quarter. We're gonna get 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, We're gonna get a nickel. So everyone get a nickel. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Next up, we have Penny. So we're gonna go with another quarter. Next, we're gonna go with the dime. Dime. Everyone's got yeah. a dime on him. Each on. <laughs> oh. Took a while for the dime, but he got it. Oh my god. Alright. Give everyone a second to go. Oh, we got some coins on. Oh. Uh, Bichon already I'm shaking so around. Bad at this shit. Just a little tilted. Carolina, Heidi, you saw it right now. Just gonna let it ride. Everyone a little tense right now. Heidi is staring right at me. I am. Alright, it's time for a dime. A dime. So everyone can get a dime. <gasps> I can't get it from Bijan with this game. Now this challenge, it's a lot about balance, but a big part of it is focus. Focus more than balance. You gotta make sure you don't let up at any moment. You got it on. Say right now, everyone's stacks are pretty similar. I'd say Heidi's is slightly straighter. Followed by Bijan's, followed by Carolina's, but no one's is too bad or too straight. We all got a little, a little dip. Oh my god. We're at about 15 minutes. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of my girlfriend. That's a long time. Alright, next up we're gonna go for a dime. Oh, a Bijan stack. It's a dime. It's a dime. Don't lie. Oh my god. He's on still shaking. Not shaking in here. Alright. Oh wow, what, Caroline? <laughs> Alright, next coin, we got Penny. Penny. Straight Bijan a little tilted towards the top, but everyone on the shoot. Getting pretty hot here. This one people are gonna start dropping. We got about what do we say? 18, 19, 20 coins on right now. 20 coins on everyone's stack. No, it's, it's mine. mine. <laughs> Alright, next up we're gonna go for a penny. A penny. So we have 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands off. Alright, each on stack widely. It's open a lot. It's still in. No, I feel like it's <laughs> Oh, oh my god! No! Oh, oh 
lied, it wasn't working. I never felt good. Yeah, no oh shot. my god. Unbelievable. We're down to two. Good luck, guys. Oh wow, both of your stacks are really straight. Alright, next up we're gonna go for a quarter. Quarter. So we have 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and drop. Everyone. Both are shaking a little. Second year in a row, we'll have a female with final meeting women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yes. I'm totally wrong. Alright, Heidi's stack is a little. Carolina's still staying pretty strong. Excuse no. me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Carolina wins individual immunity for the first time. You're all good. Let's not transition. All right. Good job, both of you. All right. Second lowest win percentage of all time. All right. Let's get her it. All right. Congrats, Carolina. When you come up here, Carolina, their first individual immunity. Can't vote for Carolina. Carolina with a guaranteed spot in the final tribal council. And it's tomorrow night or Tuesday night, whenever we get that together, Carolina has the sole vote to decide who will be sitting with her at the final tribal council. As for Bijan and Heidi, one of you will become the final member of our jury. We'll see you at the next tribal. Good you night, know, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit pissed off that I didn't win the challenge. Um, just because, duh. Um, well, I'm really glad that I could secure a spot in the final two. That's a huge accomplishment. And I'm really excited about what's to come. And I'm finally glad I won an individual immunity. Um, especially since we're going on to jury vote. Hopefully they can see that um, I have some um, success and challenges. <laughs> Yeah, I think Carolina is very interesting because I was very relieved when Bijan dropped out because I was almost entirely positive he would not take me final two. Um, and I think he knew I wasn't going to take him final two. I think it was never talked about. It's just a gut feeling. I think we both wanted to take Carolina for the final two. I only talked to Heidi directly after the challenge. Um, she just asked what I was thinking and said she wasn't going to try to influence my vote in any way. But now it's Carolina that gets to pick. Um, and when I spoke to her, I don't think she even knew exactly what she wanted to do yet. Um, and I'm currently struggling with whether or not I want to campaign to her to take me and like not wanting to overdo it and make her think like, fuck that and just go with Bijan. Um, as for Bijan, he texted me asking me to meet up and for him to plead his case. Going forward, when I met with him, he brought up a lot of good points about how Heidi would have secured a lot of people's votes. Um, perhaps uh, Alex, he said that Robbie would probably vote for Heidi. I think I could convince her because if she, she's not winning regardless. So if she takes me, at least she's doing what I would have done for her. Even though Heidi might have done it too, like, I would have done it more. But... What does that mean? Like, you would have done it more? Like, I, like, that actually is my final two. Like, that's, I mean, I've had many of them, but that is, that was my number, that is now, that, I would say that's my number one alliance, Carolina. And I saved her ass week, like, one or two, whatever, when we were voting Neil out. I saved her. So she kind of owes me, I hope she does. He's just trying to plead his case again, so I have to be very objective. I've always worked and been on the same page as Carolina through this entire game. We've always voted together. Um, so I'm hoping she sees that and she picks me, but I genuinely can't tell. All right.
Welcome everyone to Tribal Council. So, we have our final vote out of the season tonight. Carolina, you won the final immunity challenge this week. Congratulations. How does it feel to know you have a guaranteed spot in the final two and a chance to plead your case to the jury? Um, it, it's really exciting. I think, I don't know, it's just, I'm really excited that I made it to this point. And I just really hope I can make it further. And um, it's just always, you always feel better when you feel like you uh, secured a spot. Uh, Heidi, you didn't win the challenge. You you dropped out. You dropped out second. So Bijan dropped out first. You dropped out second. How how do you feel tonight knowing you don't have immunity? I mean, it's frustrating. I mean, not winning an immunity challenge throughout all the merge has been stressful, um, without a doubt. Um, and I mean, both Bijan and I's fate are in Carolina's hands, and it sucks. It does. Bijan, same thing to you. What is what is the reaction? What's the feeling? Now this is your last tribal. You have to go home by just one vote. Um, definitely, I'm pretty sad. Um, I, I mean, I, I'd be very sad if I like were eliminated or whatever. Right now, I'm just like kind of anxious. Just want to know like what's gonna happen. It's not a good feeling. It would have been nice to win, but shaking hands. So. All right, Carolina. What's on your mind going into this vote? You have the sole vote to end the game for one of these two right here. So what what factors weigh into deciding who's going to the final tribal with you and who's going to become the final member of the jury? Um, it's a really hard decision. Um, I've just worked so closely with these players, so it's really hard to just have to like, pick one of them. Um, I guess the most important thing is obviously what will help me when I go to the final tribal, so that counts like jury votes, and I guess who I think would be more favored, and just I have to think about myself going forward, even though that sucks. Dijon, why should Caroline take you to the too? Honestly, if you take me or Heidi and the jury votes on gameplay, they're not going to vote you regardless. So your best shot at winning is taking who has like the most guaranteed votes against them. Barrett is not going to vote for me. You know that Hope would go for Heidi. The only like maybe guarantee, you know Alex would go for Heidi. That's like obvious too. There's like several votes I think that she has for sure. Um, and even if it was gameplay they voted on, if you were going to lose regardless, I would want you to take me because I've worked with you since the beginning. Never lied to you. Always told you the truth. And um, yeah, but if, if you don't, there's no hard feeling. Heidi, same thing to you. Why should Carolina take you to the final two? I mean, to a degree, I kind of disagree with what Bijan said. My confidence going into a final three jury at the moment is kind of shot, considering I never won a challenge, and that is weighing really heavily on my mind. Um, and gameplay-wise, every play I had, I can honestly I didn't do it alone, and my biggest one was voting out Alex. Um, I was pleading to Bijan. Um, so, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily think Bijan um, is correct in saying I have it as secure as he is. Um, I'm nervous regardless of moving forward. Alright. Any last statements by anyone? Alright, I think it's time to vote. Carolina, you're up. You'll cast a sole vote to decide who will be the final member of, your jury, of the jury. Yeah, it's against. So whoever you vote is out. All right. Yeah, do I feel really bad about this one. I have so much respect for you. And you've played an amazing game. It's just hard when you've built up such a close lines. And I'm really sorry, but I have to think about myself going forward. I'll go get the boat. 
Alright, once the voter's registration is final, the person vote out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I will read the vote. The 14th person vote out survivor of Yukon, Ready to Rumble, and the 7th and final member of our jury. Sorry, Seth. That's enough for tonight. Please bring me your bandana. <laughs> Good game. Sorry, Bijan. Tribe has spoken. See you inside. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats to both of you. You've made it as far as you can in this game. At this point, the power in the game goes over to the jury. You voted out seven people before you, and those seven people will cast the votes to decide who will become UConn's second sole survivor. It takes four votes to win. I'll see you guys in final tribal. Have a good night. No right. What do I have to do? What? Yeah, what happens? How many words do I get? Take as long as you want. Whatever you want. Um, I don't know. When you play such a good game, like they just gotta come for you, and I, I understand. Um, I'm a little bit upset. I did help her through the game. She's not winning regardless. She should just brought me. I'll probably still vote for her though, because that's my friend. So it happens. I played a good game. I had a good time. Met good people. I deserve it. So I played the best game, hands down. That's not even a question. I played the best game, but. I put myself in the best position to win. I brought the two like weakest competitors and challenges with me to the end, but I suck at challenges too. And uh, at the end of the day, like that matters. And I'm not good at balancing stuff, and that really hurt me. I don't regret anything. I played the game the best I possibly could have. I put myself in the exact scenario that I needed to since the merge to make it to the end. It wasn't in the cards, so. But I'm rooting for both of them. They're both awesome, so it's all good. No hard feelings. Am I fly down? <laughs> <laughs> I only got chest up anyways, you're chest up. <laughs> I was going to win the game and then, I don't know. She was gonna vote Alex out and then she couldn't and then, you know, she wins Fallen Beauty. I'm like, alright, now she's gonna vote Alex out and then she was like, oh, I can't beat Mark and then she lost the game, so. It's kind of like you, like Caroline. She wasn't gonna win regardless and she like <laughs> took out the best player. Caroline wasn't gonna, get, like, gonna win regardless, she took me out, what is this? And I'm still gonna vote for her because I'm such an idiot. Like, <laughs> whatever. There's like no reason I should vote for her. She didn't play a better game. She just fucked me over. Like, I'm still gonna vote for her. Yeah. I mean, Damn. Honestly, give me a peace prize or something. <laughs> I. Give me a cookie. All right. And he's gone. <laughs>
that will have more thoughts. I was in the middle of writing before I came here, so there might be more sheets. We'll see. I think it, I just have a lot to think about um, for the final two. Um, just especially since I was voted least deserves to be here, I don't think I have many fans. I'm not sure. I really hope that my final challenge win can help. And I hope that I could just make an argument about that I've played the game well and I've made it this far. And I don't know. It's going to be hard to sway them, but hopefully I can come up with something. I mean, I came in not knowing anything about Survivor. I pretended to, but I was really just going off of my knowledge of Total Drama Island. I loved that cartoon as a kid. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I don't know, there's a lot of interesting learning curves throughout the game. Um, but to a degree, I think that was to my benefit because I was forced to take it week by week because I had no idea how to strategize, really. Um, and. I, I'd like to think that I developed as a player going through the game, um, which led me to the point of Alex's vote um, and walking that line of being a threat and not being a threat enough that I would go before anyone else. All right, welcome everyone to Final Tribal Council. Um, tonight we have our final two here, Heidi and Carolina. And what's going to happen is we're going to go through each of you, starting with Hope, heading with Bijan, you were, you were voted out. You guys are each going to ask a question to try to figure out and determine who best deserves the title of UConn's second sole survivor. So what's going to happen is Heidi and Carolina are going to start with a short speech. It's got to be under five minutes, so I'll throw the timer up. Um, um, you guys can either decide between yourselves or flip a coin. And then um, uh, for closing speeches, which will be two minutes left, it'll be the opposite. So whoever goes first here will go second for closing speeches. And let's try and keep this generally brief. So you want to ask questions that help you and the other jurors decide who you need to vote for, but don't make it obnoxious. So um, with that, do um, you, guys, you guys have an idea who wants to go first? Or otherwise we'll continue. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Heidi, we're up first. Um, whenever you're ready, when you start talking, um, Mark will hit the timer. You can look back if you need to, but if you have five minutes. <laughs> um, okay. So I'll admit that I started the Game of Survivor on a lie. Um, on my application, I rated my knowledge of this game as a three. Um, and that's just not true. It was quite honestly a one. Um, I was going entirely based off of my um, knowledge of Total Drama Islands, which was like my favorite show as a kid. Um, and for me, the game started almost as soon as I found out, because um, as soon as I found out I was going to be on it, I spent like hours on like the Survivor like Wikipedia page, like trying to figure out what was up with the game. Was, like as soon as I found out about like Hidden Immunity Idols, I was like, what the hell is this? Like, um, the whole thing was crazy for me. Um, and going into the game, um, I really wanted to make strong alliances. That was like my number one goal going in. Um, and for me, that started with uh, Maddie and Shane. Um, I'm pretty sure most all of you know that at that point, uh, at this point. Um, and I tried really hard to make that work for as long as possible. Um, I very like knowingly put myself in the minority with Shane um, when we had the, um, tried flip um, and same with Maddie when she was voted out. Um, it was kind of expressed, generally speaking, that um, that she was going out that week um, and I tried to flip it as best I could, but um, it didn't end up working out. But um, I think that's important to my gameplay leading up to the Alex vote, which I'll get to because I know that's probably one of the bigger plays I had in this game. Um, and for me, staying on the down low and staying very obviously with certain people um, and being honest as best I could about who I was voting out. I know I told Matt straight to his face on numerous occasions I was going for him. There wasn't a lot of questions with me, I think, when it came to this game for a while. And I think that worked to my advantage because I think it helped me walk the line of being able to play and being able to 
kind of let bigger threats than they get picked off. Um, but when it came around to the time that Alex got voted out, I was hearing my name tossed around. And that's when I knew it was time to, you know, really throw myself all the way in, um, all the way in. Um, and that, you know, you can't let other people get picked off the entire game. You gotta make plays. So I found out that Bijan had the new the idol. And my plan for that week when I found out, which was like 10 minutes before tribal, was um, I told Alex and Carolina to vote for me. I was like, look, it's me. Don't put yourself in the minority. I've done that numerous occasions this game. Um, and I think because I had a precedent of sticking with my allies and trying to keep them in, even though it wasn't good for myself, that they would buy into that. And I told Bijan, look, pick anyone in the game. Everyone's going to vote for me. Play the idol on me, and I will vote out whoever you want. It obviously went a little bit differently um, when Bijan pulled out the idol in the middle of everyone. But the whispering started happening, um, and that's how Alex got out, and that's how I kind of flipped that entire vote, and that's why I'm still here. So I guess um, I guess that really was my biggest play. Um, I can, to a degree, take credit for voting Sawyer out early on. Um, it was going to be Maddie and Shane on one side, um, Sawyer and Alex on the other. Um, and I think the le lesson I learned with that too was um, the reason I voted Sawyer out was because I felt he was making too big of plays too early in the game. That's why I chose to um, kind of play on the down low for a little bit. But I think I've proven with the Alex vote that I am capable of um, outplaying and outwitting um, and leading to the right time to do so. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah. <laughs> All right, all good? Yeah. All right, so Carolina, you're up. Whenever you're ready, the timer will start when you, when you start talking. All right, um, good evening, everyone. It's so good to see all of you again. Um, I, just, I just wanted to start off by thanking you for such a wonderful game. Um, all of you made this uh, such an exciting and like interesting um, experience, and I think all of you were really like stellar competitors, I think, and I think that's what stood out. And even though I wasn't the best, and I know that's why a lot of people think I don't deserve to be here, um, I was able to succeed in other areas of strategy, including alliances, and a lot of behind the scenes when it came to tribals. Um, uh, moving forward, I guess, my game just started off with a strong alliance and I ended with a strong alliance and in the end I was able to keep the um, keep the game in my favor by winning the final immunity and picking um, just someone to come with me and I think I never really felt unsafe in the game and I think it's just um, I was able to strategize and um, I think that's where my strengths came from so I just, I, I guess I'll explain more through your questions. So thank you for your consideration. All right. So um, let's see, Do we start off with the vote. I guess you're up first. Hey guys. So I remember meeting you guys like in the awkward table when all of us were at the table in the cold. And I definitely got a first impression of both of you. And it was, I have to say, different than what you guys actually turned out to do in your strategy throughout the game. Um, I don't know if there's any negativity coming in like through the questions to come after mine, but I do want to start with positivity. Um, what do you think, why do you think the other person deserves to win? Because either of you can go first. Um, I think Heidi would deserve to win, uh, just because honestly that play was very, um, smart, and I think that was the night she was going to be voted out, and she knew who to talk to and when to talk to them, and she saved herself, and she wouldn't be sitting here without that. I think that was just a really great. Um, I think Carolina deserves to win because um, she really did play smart. Um, in this game, obviously, a lot of I think just about everyone sitting on our jury like was perceived as a massive threat. Um, and um, 
while that might be good at some points in the game, I think other times knowing who to talk to and um, playing it smart and working with your alliances, um, which are all things that I think Carolina did phenomenally, um, is really your biggest strength, making it deep into the game. Um, and it's just, it's making sure you stay on the right side of the numbers, it's making sure that you're um, talking to the right people, and Carolina did that every single time. Can I ask a follow-up question? Or? Yeah, you got two, so you're good. Cool. Um, do you think that for yourselves, um, you being here is due to your own actions more or other people's actions? Um, I, I know that since I was on the side of the numbers, it was kind of a collective thing. Um, and I think, to be honest, like people had the votes, like who to vote out like, um, more than others. But I think my actions with sticking with the right people helped me. I mean, in this game, I think, to a degree, everyone helps each other, um, indirectly or not. Um, I know Alex and Bijan were flip votes for a while, so I couldn't be here if they didn't. Um, <laughs> um, Maddie's been one of my strongest allies since the first day. Um, so, I mean, even like, um, Matt and Farrah and Robbie and like the big like red um, Alliance, to a degree, served as a shield for a little bit for um, me personally, just because, um, not that you want to necessarily hide the entire game, but to a degree, um, it allows you to um, fly under the radar. So I think in a way, um, everyone kind of helped me get to this point, you know? Cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you both. All right. Um, who's it's Robbie. Robbie, you're up. <laughs> I'm forgetting. One season. We don't forget. Congratulations, guys. Thanks, Everybody here wants to be where you are, so congrats to you guys for making it. Um, first of all, Carolina, very impressed with throughout the whole game you were able to make it through tribal after tribal without making yourself a target. It's a hard thing to do in this game and something that I clearly couldn't do. Um, and Heidi, um, I'm impressed with your gameplay like foremost because you were able to play honestly and still get to the end because like you said, even when you were gunning for somebody, everybody knew it. You didn't lie, you didn't go behind people's backs and you still made it to the end, which is a really hard, also a really hard thing to do in this game. So I'm gonna start with Carolina. Uh, my question for you is if you have, well, it's kind of a two part question for both people. Um, if there was one move in this game that you're most proud of that you think is the reason why you deserve to be the sole survivor, what is that? And then also, if you've watched any of the show before, could you compare yourself to a character or a player that you've seen when watching the seasons? Um, so for the first question, I think um, I think the biggest move that was made was getting Hajo in the beginning. Um, if, if this was part of like my alliance's choice, but um, I think she cleared. I think at the time she didn't seem like a threat, and she seemed like she wanted to ally with us. But I think also she would have um, flipped on us, and then I think there are no. I think in the end it was just two big alliances, and I think if it were the other way, if she were still here, it'd be the other way around. And one of the original Red Track members, or both, would be sitting here. Um, for the second one, I can't honestly really say. It's a different question for you. <laughs> Um, because we talked a little bit about your, like, uh, the Alex vote out and whatnot, so, um, for you, again, if there's a player that you, like, have watched a player that you want to compare yourself to, who would that be? But also, if there's anything in your game, like, now that we're at the end of it, looking back, that you would have done differently, what is that? Um, there's, I don't know. Um, it's hard to pick out a singular thing that I would have done differently, um, well, I am kind of proud of myself for playing honest for the most part. Um, there were times where I wish I could have worked with different people. Um, I know Hope in particular was someone for me that I was really hoping to work with at one point. That's um, what I was worried about for like the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the numbers just didn't work out that way. Um, and I feel like um, making 
bigger plays earlier, while I think it was a new target. Um, I also regret that I don't have any other big plays to boast. Um, so I guess that would be um, my one big one. Um, and then I have not watched many seasons of Survivor, so I'm just thinking of my favorite players, and I don't yeah, think I'm- Yeah, your favorite players. Oh, well, <coughs> Rupert. 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 Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for having me. All right, Maddie, you're next. All right, um, so obviously I've played close with both of you guys kind of throughout the whole game. Um, Heidi, obviously didn't know you going into the game, but you pretty much voted with me, slash, like, stayed with me for the whole game, so obviously I respect that a lot. Um, and then Carolina, obviously we didn't start together, but we ended up in the same alliance together. Um, so obviously, like me knowing both your games, I feel like in a lot of ways they're very similar. Um, so then, tell me like what would differentiate differentiate you guys from like each other? So I think the interesting thing is um, obviously Carolina and I did start off on the same alliance, but um, once we hit the merge, I think we voted the same in every single um, vote. Um, so that gets a little bit tricky, but um, I think again the biggest thing. Um, is the Alex vote. Um, I, um, I think um, that one Carolina's name did come up and she got votes was um, when they were trying to break up your two's alliance because I think you two were perceived as stronger than me and you. Um, and we never got to a point where we got to see if that was true. But um, I guess um, I, it comes from I had to save myself. Um, and Carolina never really did. So I guess um, me scrounging and me trying to make last minute plays is probably where we differentiate. Um, even then, when I tried to save um, you from getting voted out, I came to Dijon again. I was in that position a number of times, but um, at that point I told him, um, if we go with voting out Barrett um, and give Maddie the chance, give you the chance to beat Matt, at this next challenge, um, like, would you consider it? And then if not, I'll vote with, I promise them I'll vote against you that next round. I think I can do that, but um, just to try to ensure you get a little bit farther to keep you in the game. So um, I guess making last minute plays and trying to make feels for them. Um, I think to start off, um, the first tribal, or the second tribal council, I guess, excluding Amanda, um, I got a text from Neil and he told me that they were planning on voting me out and so that was the only time I really felt like I was, that was my time to go. <laughs> um, so I guess I knew that I wouldn't, I did not want to be out of that early in the game and so I strategized, I talked to um, Vision mostly and in that way, I was able to save myself and play the game moving forward. And then, I guess, moving on, I think my biggest play was just the alliance. It's, um, from the start, it's always been, um, I guess, me, Bijan, and Maddie, and then we added on Alex and Heidi John. Just from the start, I think, started keeping strong base. And then can I ask one more? Yeah. So just for Heidi, mm -hmm. um, so obviously you stayed loyal to me throughout the whole game, mm -hmm. and you like you keep stressing that you played a very honest game. Mm -hmm. Was there any point that you regretted playing that like very honest game? Because I know in like the actual game of Survivor, at some point, like you gotta lie, you gotta like flip, you know. Um, so was there any point that you like regretted that? Regretted being honest. Just like like voting for me when, because like obviously when I was going. Like we all knew I was going. Mm -hmm. So like do you regret like voting for me and like not being able to gain other people's trust in that? Um, personally, no. Um for I guess the more I mean, there was the I didn't want to vote you out because we've been working together and I was hoping still that maybe Dijon and Alex would flip. But um I think um the more selfish reason, the more like strategic reason I guess was um I was kind of aware of the fact that at that point I had like a bit of a like one with being like honest friend. Um, and I thought, even though it might not look great, um, voting with you regardless, even though I was genuinely like, close to it still, but um, 
I thought it would be my display for this. So I don't necessarily agree with this. All right, thank you, Maddie. All right, Alex, you're up. All right, uh, congrats to both of you. So first question is for Carolina. So at the final seven immunity challenge, you were voted the least deserving player to still be in the game. And you even wrote your own name down for it. So like clearly you knew you had that perception of you. So after you knew that you had that perception of you, did you change anything about your game to make us tonight determine you the most deserving or did you just kind of <coughs> keep doing the same thing? Um, I think there's a lot that people can't see, um, just like strategy-wise behind the scenes. And I think I got that, I knew I was going to get that vote because a lot of people knew I wasn't winning very many challenges. Um, they thought I wasn't doing much to stay in the game, but just as everyone else, I worked the same, um, even though it may have been in a different way. And I. Moving forward, I kind of kept playing the way I was playing because it worked, and I'm still here. And um, and I know that in the end it may be my downfall, but um, it got me to final two, and I just hope I can further. All right, fair enough. All right, next question for Heidi. So um, you keep talking about like loyalty and how you were very loyal to your allies and stuff like that. So I'm just going to run through my perspective on my vote for a second, then I'll ask you for yours. So like an hour before tribal, you were smart enough to realize that like you were the one being voted out and that me and Bijan were the swings. And like really, I didn't want to vote you out that night. So I told you like, yeah, like I'm totally down on like vote bear with you. Like, so I just gave you all the info I had to like hopefully sway Bijan to vote bear. Now obviously like I trusted you and I shouldn't have like, I blame myself for that more than you. I screwed a bunch of people over in this game so I can't like be mad at you for it. But, but like, you keep stressing loyalty and like I know you're loyal to like Maddie, you were loyal to like Shane, but like I don't feel like you were that loyal to me. Even though like you saved yourself that night. So like, what actually happened that night like, was it you that convinced everyone to vote for me, or was it Bijan? Because I feel like it was mostly Bijan, honestly. Um, so, the other bit that came with that, um, before Bijan pulled out the idol, and I was trying to convince him to play on me, <clears throat> so I would be the only person casting, like, a valid vote, um, I was planning on staying loyal to you still and just going with Barrett, sorry. Um, because I did want to keep you in. Um, but when Bijan pulled out the necklace during tribal, I realized um, I was completely out of options um, and voting you out was one of the hard things I had to do, um, without a doubt. Um, for that, um, Bijan knows I came to him and I, like, I kind of pled with him. I was like, I want to stay in this game. Um, and I know that you have the idol, and I know like um, that you have the power, power to help me put this around. Um, I don't think I could have convinced. Um, I don't think I could have convinced um, Matt and Barrett if Bijan didn't <coughs> help me there. Um, so I can't take full credit, I guess, for that. Um, I definitely whispered in his ear. And, you know, but, but um, he's done definitely helping out in that boat without a doubt. Thanks for the honesty, and I get one more question then. Yeah, you made it a little short, but yeah, go for it. Go be quick. So, uh, <laughs> which two jury members do you think played the best game? Oh. Uh, to either one, to both of you. Um, right off the bat, I'm gonna say I think Bajan and Ravi. Um, Bajan is very strong. I three strategy and like he I think he was like the most deciding factor of each of the votes and um, he had a lot of power and so much respect to that and then Ravi um, you too had a lot of power and strategizing with people and you started your own alliance and not only that but you were amazing in all the challenges and I think it's just two different strengths but yeah. 
Um, I'm inclined to say the same. The fact that Bijan got voted out with only one vote against him the entire game is just absolutely insane. Um, like saving yourself is one thing, but passing by and only getting one at the final three is completely nuts. Um, and then with Robbie, he, I know he got me good when we got to the time slot <laughs> that fake idol. Like as frustrated and like. As frustrated as I was with that triumph swap and Shane getting voted out, like, in that respect, it was a crazy play. Um, so, yeah. All right. Good luck. All right. Thank you, Alex. All right. Matt, you're up next. Um, I want to say congrats, guys. Uh, you obviously beat all of us in the final two. Uh, my fellow jurors, like, stole some of my questions. I'm just going to, no questions. I'm just going to state my support. Heidi, you voted me the biggest liar. Um, so I'm going to change that tonight and tell you the truth. Uh, I'm going to vote for you to win. Uh, I have seen nothing. I will change my mind at this point. I think you both played good games. Um, but you told me the whole time you're going to vote me out. You, you were honest to me the whole time, and I respect that completely. Uh, your Alex move, not getting voted out. I said if you make it to the end, you're going to win, and I, I still think that's true. So short and sweet, I'm going to write your name down to win. All right. Matt. All right, Barry, you're up. <laughs> so yeah, again, just to sort of echo the sentiment of the room, I'm very impressed by both of you guys. It's very, it's amazing that you guys made it to this point. Um, my my one my one question, and I want to know more about your character. So I just want to make sure that you know you both. I just, of course, you're both great people. I just want to know you're good people on the inside because, of course. Everyone's hurt each other in this game, so it's you know, a little bit muddy. I just want to know that when you win the $80, are you going to donate part of it to charity? <laughs> Either you go first. Sure. <laughs> got, got any plans? You got a charity you're going to donate to? I mean, not as much as I probably could, but um, that was fun. Um, for me, I think it's just meeting new people. I've had dinner with some of you. I see you on campus, and it's just like, I'm a freshman, so it's nice to like see new faces around um, campus. <laughs> and honestly, it's just been so much fun meeting everyone. And it's like, you know, and then I think it just opens my doors to go out, do more things like this, meet more people. All right, thank you, Dijon. <laughs> All right, so the same thing. You guys each have a closing statement. You have two minutes to that, so you can say whatever you want. Wait till the timer gets thrown off, but um, we will start with Carolina. Okay, um, so there's not a lot I could say right now to change everyone's minds, but um, I did play a very strong game, I think, even though it's not seen as one. And a lot of people probably think I piggybacked, but those were my own choices. And I guess I just, I talked to the right people, and it really did get me here. Um, and 
I mean, I also got Heidi here, so it's a props to that. Um, just thank you all for such a great time, and thank you. <laughs> all right, thank you, Carolina. Heidi, you're up. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have much more else to say. Um, everyone played really great games. Um, Carolina, I thought you did amazing. Um, and I, I don't have much else to say. It's been a great season, and I like working with all of you guys. Alright, um, we'll get to that now, but I uh, hope you're first. I'm voting for you because I really respect your game and I think you definitely, personally, you put a lot of effort into this. Well, the last time I wrote your name down, it was not to win, that's for sure. But after you voted me out, I said, if you make it to the end, she's who I'm gonna vote for to win. Um, I think you did a good job staying in this person because I think they played the better social game, better strategic game. Heidi, you played a very superior game compared to Carolina. You told the truth the whole time. Uh, you were very strategic. You, you knew what was going on. Um, we both played a great game, but I really think you deserve this more. So, can you get another one? Is it a clip-on? Is it a clip-on? <laughs> uh, I mean, I respect your game. You were, you were nice to me the whole entire time. And I just feel like you deserve it more than, than anyone else. Yeah, what an angle. To be completely honest, I don't care who wins. I'm only voting for you because I haven't voted wrong all season and I don't want to start with Alright, uh, for, for the last time, I'll go tally the votes. Alright, so I want to thank all of you guys for a great season. It's been awesome. Um, this is our second semester of it, and I gotta say, it was just as good as the first. We had a lot of great moments. We had a great cast. We have a great final two here. I'm happy for whoever's the winner, and I'm really excited to read the votes tonight. So, I just want to th thank a few people briefly. I want to thank just our awesome cast in general. We have our jury here tonight. You guys are all great. I'm glad you were a part of this season and each of you uh, made a big impact on how the season's going to turn out. And I can't wait for it to turn out into a finished product eventually. Also, I just want to thank my cast and crew. So um, people that help out like Alex and Zubin, um, who aren't like on our main uh, team, they still help out a lot and that helps us out whenever we need it. And that's a great thing because we always need camera people. Um, I want to thank our officer team, so that includes John, Dan, Top, and Mark. Uh, those guys are all, I, I'm getting to Ethan. Um, those guys are all huge parts of our team, and they come week after week. Um, when I started this last semester, I just figured they would just be listed as officers, and they would kind of fill those new contact roles, but I didn't realize how much filming and how much dedication this takes, so they're a big help, and I really appreciate them. Uh, Ryan's here, my roommate, so I want to thank him for listening to all you guys stream <laughs> every day. And uh, a special want to thank Ethan. Ethan, um, even though the first day he claimed this club was a brainchild of both of us. <laughs> it was not, but it, we, it, basically, it basically is at this point. Ethan has done so much to uh, be a great part of this team. Uh, he comes to basically every tribal challenge that he's not. Um, like I was state before, so um, Ethan's a big help for us, and uh, I couldn't do it without him. So Ethan, why don't you put the camera on yourself? Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> y'all. All right, and with that, lastly, I just want to thank our final two. I'm excited to see what happens. You're both winners to me. Um, let's read the votes. <laughs> You guys can clap whenever. Alright, first vote, Heidi. I'll vote Heidi. Clap. <laughs> Second vote, Carolina. 
Third vote, Heidi. Two votes, Heidi, one vote, Carolina. Fourth vote, Heidi. Three votes, Heidi, one vote, Carolina. <laughs> Three votes left.